Hi, welcome to my channel, Math Made Easy with Laurel. I'm Laurel, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use Excel to find descriptive statistics. So in the last two videos, we talked about how to find measures of central tendency, specifically mean, median, and mode. We also talked about how to find measures of dispersion, specifically range, variance, and standard deviation. We've looked at how to calculate those manually, but it's fairly time consuming. And as long as we understand how those things are calculated, we can use technology to do the hard work for us. So I want to show you how you can use Excel to calculate each of these things individually. And then I'm going to also show you how you can use Excel to do all of them all at once. So first of all, individually, when you're using Excel, function for mean is average. For median, it's simply median. For mode, the function in Excel is mode. Excel doesn't have a function for range, so what we're going to have to do is find the maximum value of a set of data and subtract the minimum value. So I will show you how to do that. Variance, the function for variance is VAR. And the function name for standard de deviation is STDE. V. So let's take a look at an example on Excel and how we actually get Excel to calculate these things. Okay, what we have here is a set of exam marks and we're going to find these descriptive statistics using those exam marks. We're going to start with mean and mean is the same thing as average. What's the average for the set of marks? So let's click into this cell right here. And anytime you're using a function or putting an equation into, an ex into Excel, you need to use the equal sign. So we start off with equal sign. And the function for mean is called average. So when you start typing it in, you'll see various functions show up. And when you see average, just click on it. And now it's waiting for the numbers that you want to enter that it's going to calculate the average on. The easiest way to do that is start with your first number and drag down your cursor to include all the numbers and then press enter or return. So there it's just calculated the average for those 10 scores. To do median, again equals, start typing median and when you see the word median come up, that's the function you want. Again, grab the same numbers the same way and enter. So there's the median mark that's the number right in the middle of all of those scores if you were to arrange them in order from smallest to largest. Mode is the most uh, repeated or common number or popular number so let's see if we have a mode so equals start typing in mode and there it is put the values in that you want to find the mode of press enter. So the mode is 75 and if you look at these scores you see that 75 appears there and there so it's considered the most popular number in that set of data. If you end up with a number and NA when you look for the mode that means number not applicable it means there is no mode. To find range Excel doesn't have a specific function for finding range you need to find the maximum value and the minimum value and find the difference. So let's do that over here. So we want to find the maximum, that's a function, equals max is the symbol for max. There it is. And we find those, put those values in. Minimum equals min is the function that we want, just min. Put our values in. So it pulled out the maximum value in that set of numbers and the minimum value. Range is simply the difference of those. So we're going to put in an equation for range. So we start off with equals and we can write the cell number or the easiest thing to do is just click the cell. So it writes the cell location for us. Minus 
And again, let's just write that, click the cell that we want. It writes the cell location in and enter that. So the range is 65. To find variance, we press equals and the symbol for variance in Excel is VAR. You just want VAR, ignore all these other ones with other letters. There's VAR. Let's get our numbers and enter. For standard deviation, we press equals, and the symbol for standard deviation is STDEV. There it is, and we put our numbers, and enter. So now we've found those six different measures of central tendency and dispersion just by using those functions on Excel. There is an even easier way to find all of these values and I'm going to show you how to do that next. What I want you to do is to go up to these to the top choices here and choose data and then I want you to go to the far right and choose analysis tools. The add-ins available I want you to click or check the analysis tool pack and OK. Now you should have data analysis showing up in the right hand side. We're going to click that and you just scroll through that until you find descriptive statistics and we're going to click that and then press OK. Now we're going to have to put the input range. That's the numbers or test scores that we want to do the analysis on. So click the first one and drag through and they've filled that out for us. Output range, we don't want to put this on the summary on a new worksheet or a new workbook so we're just going to pick a cell to put it in and let's pick this cell right here and let's now click summary statistics and press OK. So what you have here is a lot of different statistics the mean, standard error, median, mode, standard deviation, sample variance, a couple of other things, kurtosis and skewness, range, the maximum and minimum, as well as the sum of all of the scores, as well as the number of test scores. So all in one operation, we're able to get all of these stats, as well as some additional ones. I hope you find that helpful.